The Star Atlas scavenger hunt is here. Let's go find some loot. Hey everyone, it's me, your favorite Star Atlas content creator. This is a quick start guide to get you up to date on the scavenger hunt. Let's get started. First up, go to sage.staratlas.com. Wait for the page to load, it won't take long. Now you'll need to connect your Solana based wallet. You can choose between all of these on the screen. I highly recommend Phantom and Soulflare as it's the most widely used between all of them. Sign in at the top right and you are ready to go. Take a second to go through the settings. Once you're done, hit play and let's find some loot. This is the map for the scavenger hunt. Now remember, this is extremely early in the development stage. The main purpose is to provide data for the Star Atlas and Automata team. You just happen to get some loot as well. Click on spawn a ship. You should get this pop-up window, which basically states you need to lock 1000 Atlas. Once you lock your Atlas, you'll get one Fimble Lobby, the same ship as everyone else, just to make it fair. And you now have a Fimble Lobby in the middle of the screen. Before we go on, let's have a look at everything else on the screen. On the bottom left, you have the spawner ship, the despawner ship. On the bottom right, you have leave feedback as well as the settings. And on the top right, you have your wallet address. In the middle right is your fleet overview where you can see all of your different ships. The green spaces is everywhere you can move to. You can move your ship up to three tiles. When you click on your ship, you have three options, the warp, the scan, and the observe. If you want to click on observe, this is what it will look like. When you click on warp, you can now move your ship from one sector to another. When you click confirm, it will take a little bit of time until your ship gets there. Very good, you've moved your ship. So now you have a 60 second cooldown on your warping function. Secondly, you can click on scan. And once you scan, you will now have the ability to discover any loot that might be lying on that tile. In this case, the scan did not reveal anything. To click on your ship again, go to the right hand side and click on the overview. And as you can see, it is highlighted at the moment which means you can move up to 3 paces. Now you might be wondering, why are all the tiles different colours? Green is where you can move to. The light grey means that there's not many people on that tile. The darker the tile means there might be more people on that tile scanning for something. Now when you finish, you might want to despawn your ship. Click despawn on the bottom left hand side corner and click despawn in the middle of the screen. Despawning your ships will remove your ship from the game and return your locked funds which is 1000 Atlas. Alright, let's look at the loot you can find my friends. Now they have changed the loot table slightly. There is now a 99% chance for you to find a copper loot crate. This copper loot crate contains food, fuel, ammo, toolkits and 10 atlas. You now have a 0.9% or nearly 1% chance of finding a bronze crate, which contains an escape velocity hat paint, escape velocity poster, 1000 atlas, a core episode 6 and a tier 1 claim stake. From here, it gets a little bit more difficult to find any prominent loot. You have the silver at 0.0009%, the gold at 0.00005%, and platinum at 0.0000006%. And lastly, you have the diamond, which of course has the Fimble BIOS tank ship worth $100,000. Are you going to find this? I want to know. If you've got any other questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. Remember, head to sage.staratlas, connect your Solana wallet, press play, spawn your ship, right click on your ship to warp to a new coordinate and right click on your ship to scan a coordinate. Repeat all of these until you find some loot my friends. Let's give you some rules of Sage Escape Velocity. 
First of all, a couple of fundamental rules that make the game strategic and dynamic. Here they are. Once the treasure spawns, it stays in the sector where it spawned until a player finds it. Most of the treasures will have charges, meaning that more than one player could get the spawned treasure. Once one of them is found, it will send a signal to every player in the galaxy telling which one was located and where. Please note that this feature won't be available in initial release, but will follow in the first Escape Velocity update shortly thereafter. Players won't be able to see each other on the map directly, but they will get to see the heat map representing overall player activity in the sector. A color and a number at the bottom of the sector will mark this heat map. The ship's warping capacity limits movement and is not instantaneous. When you select the ship you want to move, the game will highlight the grids a ship can warp to and an estimated arrival time. Every ship will be able to scan individually with an individual 30 second cooldown. The loot table pattern is 100% random, meaning there is no way of knowing when a drop will occur. Still, the value of the drops is influenced by three variables. Number one, the number of players in Sage movement test. Number two, the number of actions players are committed in the first movement test. And number three, your sheer probability. Now, you let me know, do you want a silver loot crate, a gold loot crate, a platinum loot crate, or a diamond loot crate with the Fimble BIOS tank ship? Let me know down in the comments below. If you got any questions, post it in the comment section. Did you like the video? Make sure you give me a like and a subscribe. Did you love it? Donate Atlas to my ARC fund if you loved it. This is my wallet. See you in the metaverse.